2020. It's certainly a tough year for combustion engine as Elon Musk continues making combustion engines obsolete by making EVs a new trend, starting a new revolution in the automotive industry. Everyone thinks it's the end game for the combustion engines and it is evident by its steadily declining sales figures. You see, charging a vehicle for 8-12 to 12 hours a day is quite unfeasible for long haulers. As in logistics business, time is money. But neglecting the emissions caused by combustion engine vehicles won't be very clever from our side. Anyways, as sort of a last warrior from the combustion engine's battalion, please welcome the opposed piston engine! The opposed piston engine is basically a reciprocating engine with two pistons in one cylinder. It is basically a reversed boxer engine. But unlike a boxer engine, the opposed piston engine has two crankshafts. Yes, you heard it right. Two crankshafts, which are meshed to a common gear to produce useful work. It completes its four thermodynamic cycles similar to a conventional reciprocating two-stroke engine. The upstroke takes care of the intake and compression and the downstroke takes care of the power and exhaust. But with a little twist here. Because you see, there is no stationary cylinder head. So the inwards movement of the piston causes compression and the outwards movement involves scavenging and the power delivery to the crank. But unlike a common diesel engine, this monster is first, a two-stroke means one power stroke in every rotation of the crankshaft. Unlike a four-stroke that has one power stroke in every two rotations of the crank. And the second is that they are crazy efficient. German bombers with these power units could fly from Germany to South America with just one full tank during the World War II. And also this unique setup of pistons helps deleting cylinder heads, cams and thus valves altogether and instead rely on ports for its respiration. <laughs> Akiri's Power Inc, the main brain of the show, the face of this technology in the modern era has developed a twin charged, that means turbo and supercharged, three cylinder opposed piston engines for both diesel and petrol fuels. And guess what? They actually managed to combust petrol without spark plugs. It is such a good time to be alive. You heard it right. Petrol burning completely by compression and producing way better volumetric efficiency than a conventional petrol engine. 36.5% which is a whopping 11% improvement on their very first attempt over a conventional 4-stroke gasoline engine. All this by twin charging and a clever exhaust gas recuperation system to keep up to ideal cylinder temperatures needed to keep the engine running by compressing the petrol. And since this is a compression based engine, this engine will do wonders for diesel as its fuel as it will allow higher compression ratios and the much needed torque over a conventional 4-stroke diesel engine. Simulations have shown over 55% thermal efficiency that is possible with this configuration in a paper by Neeraf Abani Nishit Kangar, Rodrigo Zermino, Michael Chiang, Isaac Thomas published under of the Society of Automotive Engineers. Although this engine is capable of running both petrol and diesel in the same configuration, but you see, the burning characteristics of petrol and diesel don't really allow simultaneous usage of both fuels in the same power unit. Hence, a petrol and a diesel version of the very same engine is being developed separately. Now another highlight of this engine is being super eco-friendly, with tests showing significant reduction in hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide emissions but a substantial increment in the nitrogen oxides. Well, but how soon are we seeing these engines actually being used in vehicles? Well, as it turns out, not anytime soon. No matter how flamboyant this technology looks right now, it's not easy for manufacturers to revolutionize an up and running technology. But the good news is that over nine manufacturers have started development of this engine. Kiris themselves have used this power unit to power an F-150 truck which can produce over 270 horsepower right now with some very good efficiency numbers of 37 miles per gallon running on gasoline and over 42 miles per gallon running on diesel. Although the combustion engines might go extinct in a few days. <laughs> Now 
but the dawn of the opposed piston engines make the fact concrete that combustion engines have another spawn left. So that is it for today guys. If you have made this far, please consider subscribing. This channel is still a baby and certainly needs your support to grow and most importantly make science fun again. Make sure to leave a like and let loose your heart in the comments. Check out our social media pages to stay connected with us and enjoy fun memes, tech trends and updates. So until next time, bye. Nowadays it's all about this.